60-minute stress management practice. Begin with relaxation and three-part breath. Either find a comfortable seated position on a chair or on the floor, supporting underneath the seat with pillows, a blanket, or cushion. Or find a comfortable laying down position on the back or on the side body. Support under the head and under the knees with pillows if laying on the back. Cover the body with a blanket in order to stay warm. Now we will begin relaxation with centering and three-part breath. Begin by taking several conscious slow deep breaths. Take a moment to gather your awareness in this body in this moment, making a transition from all the duties and responsibilities of the day. Come into this moment as you free yourself from all other moments. Becoming fully present here and now. Begin to notice how you feel. As you breathe, start to witness the natural unwinding of the tension in the body and the mind. You can even direct the breath to those areas where you feel tension or tightness and allow the breath to pass in, around, and through. Relaxing. Letting go of tension patterns within your reach and settle with what remains. Establishing yourself in a practice of contentment. Content to be with yourself in this moment, just as you are. Now bring your attention to the breath as it passes through the nostrils. Notice as the breath comes in. Notice as the breath goes out. Allow your awareness to ride the breath like a wave resting on the rhythmic flow of breath through the nostrils as it comes in and as it goes out. When the mind drifts or wanders away from the breath, just notice the tendencies of mind to drift. Does it drift towards the future, goals, planning, list-making, or dreaming? Does it linger in thoughts of the past, old memories, should-haves, could-haves, reliving old conversations or thoughts? Or do you find the attention in the sensations of body? Without any judgment, notice the tendencies of mind and gently return the attention to the breath. This process of wandering and returning to breath is the practice of centering, centering yourself with each breath, observing. Three-part breath. Place the right hand at the lower abdomen if you like. Begin to take in a deep three-part breath by exhaling completely through the nose. At the end of the exhalation, contract the belly. Inhale, expand the belly, allowing the lower lungs to fill. Continue to inhale, allowing the lower chest to expand. Move the inhalation into the upper chest, allowing the collarbones to slightly rise. On the exhalation, empty the upper chest, the lower chest, the abdomen, one section flowing into the other. Inhale, continue to expand the abdomen, lower chest, middle chest, and upper chest so the collarbones rise slightly. And continue breathing slowly and deeply with three-part breath for a few minutes here.
After you complete your last exhalation, remove the hand from the lower abdomen and relax. Breathe naturally and just observe the breath. Observe the body. Observe any sensations in the body and relax. Very gently begin to deepen the breathing. Allow the breath to inspire some movement in the fingers and the toes. As you deepen the breath, allow the breath to revitalize and re-energize the body, making that transition from centering and relaxation to a practice of being mindful of your actions. Here, you can turn the head gently side to side. And when you're ready, stretching the arms above the legs below for a full body stretch. And then placing the feet on the mat, rolling off to the right side to transition. Remain on the right side for several breaths. Pausing, noticing the heart, the spine. And when you're ready, press the left palm, extending the left leg and come back up to a seated position, taking your time to make yourself comfortable. Once you are comfortable in your seated position, we will begin with neck stretches. Finding your inner lift, take a couple breaths with the palms comfortably resting in the lap or on the thighs, either palms face up or down or folded in the middle of the lap. As you inhale, send the breath down the spine to the sits bones. And as you exhale, send the breath up the spine out of the top of the head. Allow the spine to be tall, finding that inner lift. Relax the shoulders, the face, the jaw. Making sure that your seat is comfortable. From here, take an inhale to reestablish your inner lift. And as you exhale, take the right ear to the right shoulder stretching the left side of the neck. Breathe. Feel the stretch in the left side of the neck and the left shoulder. On your inhale, come back to center with the head and exhale, relax. Inhale, establish your inner lift and exhale, left ear to the left shoulder. Relax the head, feel the right side of the neck and shoulder stretching and breathe here. On your next inhale, bring the head back to center and exhale, relax. Taking one more inhale, lift and exhale, bring the chin to the chest, keeping the spine long and the shoulders relaxed. Stretching the back of the neck, breathe here with the chin to the chest. Stretching the back of the neck. On your next inhale, bring the head back to neutral and exhale, relax. Now we will begin shoulder shrugs. On the inhale, lift the shoulders up towards the ears and tense the shoulders up on the inhale. And as you exhale, relax the shoulders down, sigh and relax. Next, lift the shoulders forward and up, inhaling and tensing the shoulders forward and up. And as you exhale, sigh and relax the shoulders down. Third and last, inhale, stretch the shoulders back and up on the inhale, tensing the shoulders back and up. And on the exhale, release, sigh, and relax the shoulders down. Breathe. Now take shoulder rolls three times in each direction. You can begin by lifting the shoulders to the ears, moving them forward, down, and back, and rotating twice more in that direction as you breathe. Once you complete that direction, go the other way three times, rotating the shoulders back, down, forward, and up. 
After you're done, relax the shoulders, take the hands by your sides and give the hands and arms a shake to relax the hands, arms. Here, relaxing the hands by your sides, you can open the fingers wide, spreading them apart, and then tense the hands together in a little fist, and then do that twice more, opening the hands wide, and tensing them into fists. Last time, open the fingers and tense into fists, and then relax. Just take wrist movements, cupping the hands in gentle, fists and rotate the wrist in one direction three times. Pause and go the other direction three times. Now shake the hands, wrists, arms out and relax. Leg stretches. Now stretch the legs out in front of you, placing the heels on the mat. Make sure your seat is comfortable. You can do this in a chair or on the mat. Support by the hips, both hands pressing down gently or fingertips pressing to support a tall spine in your seat. Begin by flexing the feet, bringing the toes to face in your direction. And then as you exhale, point the toes away from you, stretching the tops of the ankle. Do this a few times on your own, flexing and pointing. Remember to breathe. Inhale and exhale. And then relax the feet. Take three ankle rotations to one side, moving the feet off in one direction, circling all the way around the ankles. And just breathe as you move the ankles around three times one direction, then pause, go the other way three times, circling the ankles. And as you breathe, and then relax. Relax the legs and arms. Now come into a relaxation position on the back or the abdomen. We will only be here for one minute. So choose to either relax for one minute on the back or one minute on the abdomen. Find a comfortable position or you can simply relax in the chair if you choose not to come down to the floor. It's just as important to relax between the poses as the poses themselves. So just find a comfortable position and allow the body to soften into the floor and relax. Breathing comfortably Notice and observe the inhales and exhales as you soften any tension in the body. Relax. If you are relaxing on the back, gently begin to roll onto the abdomen. Slowly coming onto the abdomen, relax on the abdomen now for a few breaths. Now we will begin with back stretch number one, Cobra Pose. To begin, place the forehead on the mat and place both palms face down on the mat on the sides of the rib cage close to the armpits with the elbows pointing directly up to the ceiling. Relax the forehead and the palms down. Zip the legs up in one straight line to set up and relax the legs and buttocks. Pause here. On your next inhale, begin by sweeping the forehead, the nose, and then the chin off of the mat, taking the gaze forward and gently lifting the front of the chest. Don't press firmly down on the palms, just allow the palms to rest on the mat and guiding the chest up by the strength of your upper back. And breathe here. 
relaxing through the legs and buttocks. Just feel the stretch in the front of the chest and breathe into the back of the heart. Inhaling fully, exhaling, finding a sense of relaxation, taking two more breaths and coming out anytime you feel too much strain. Remember, less is more. Taking your last inhale. And as you exhale, relaxing chin, nose, and forehead, coming down to the mat, taking the hands back behind you alongside the body with the palms face up, turning the head to one side. You may use your hands as a pillow here or a nearby blanket or pillow to relax the cheek on the side, letting go. Noticing if you overstretch or you stretch just right for you. Knowing that less is more and gentle movements and gentle stretches do much more for you than overdoing it. So just observe the effects of cobra pose on your body and relax. Now we will begin back stretch number two, single leg lifts or half locust pose. Begin by taking the chin onto the mat and lengthening the arms alongside the body with the palms face up. Allow the hands to come underneath the thighs by rocking side to side if you'd like to place the hands underneath the thighs, palms face up. Otherwise, simply keep the hands alongside the body, stretching back and down towards the feet. Relax the chin, the shoulders, the buttocks, zipping the legs up in one straight line Relax the legs and pause here. On your next inhale, stretch the right leg back and up off of the mat, gently, maybe just an inch or so at first, keeping the chin relaxed and stretch the leg as you inhale. Feel the stretch through the right leg, keeping the left buttocks and the left leg relaxed. Stretch through the right leg and breathe two more breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. If you get tired, come down sooner. One more inhale. And on your next exhale, relax the right leg down to the mat. Take a pause. Rest. And then on your next inhale, lift the left leg off of the mat an inch or so and stretching it back behind you away from your body. Breathe into the left leg and relax the right buttocks and the right leg. Feel the stretch and take two more breaths here, inhaling. The chin remains on the mat. Another inhale. And as you exhale, relax the left leg down to the mat and release the hands from underneath the body. Turn the cheek to the opposite side to rest the head and the entire body and notice the effects of half locust or single leg lift pose. Breathe especially into the lower back, filling the lower back with your breath. And just observe the effects of this pose on your energy. Notice if you overstretched or you stretched just right for you. Breathe and relax. A few more breaths on the abdomen. And when you're ready, slowly turn onto the side of the body and come onto relaxation on the back for just 30 seconds. So coming to laying on the back, relax on the back body. Letting go of the weight of the body into the floor Notice the body and the effects of your back stretches. Breathing freely and fully. Now begin wind elimination pose by zipping the legs together in one straight line and relax the legs. On an inhale, begin by lifting the right leg off of the mat, bending at the knee and drawing the knee in towards the chest by clasping the hands either behind the thigh or over the shin. Draw the knee gently into the chest as the left leg remains outstretched and on the mat and relaxed. Allow yourself to breathe here a few breaths as you draw the right knee to the chest, observing 
the right hip joint, the right side of the abdomen, sending the breath to wherever you might feel tight or constricted, and relaxing the head and shoulders back behind you. Breathe. And then on your next inhale, release the hands, allow the right leg to slowly come down to the mat, and once it releases to the mat, exhale, relax. Take a pause, and then on your next inhale, bring the left knee to the chest, bending at the knee, placing the hands behind the thigh or over the shin. Relax the head and shoulders back behind you and allow gravity to draw the knee into chest. Notice the effects on the left hip joint and the left side of the abdomen. Again, sending the inhales to any areas of tightness or discomfort, and as you exhale, relaxing in the pose. Then when you're ready on your next inhale, you can release the left leg slowly with control all the way down to the mat. Once it touches the mat, exhale, relax. Now slowly come up by bending the knees, placing the feet on the mat and rolling to one side, and then pressing yourself gently to a seated position. We will begin with forward bend over both legs, a full forward bend. So setting up either on the mat or in a chair. If you're seated on the mat, be sure to lift the hips by sitting on a cushion, a folded pillow, or blanket. And you're welcome to put a pillow underneath the knees if the hamstrings are tight and the knees tend to bend. If you're sitting on a chair, make sure your back is not leaning into the chair back and that your heels are securely on the floor in front of you, stretching the legs forward and straight. Begin by placing the palms to touch in the middle of the chest. Take an inhale and an exhale. On your next inhale, interlock the thumbs, stretch the hands forward and then up towards the ceiling, following the hands with the gaze. As you exhale, bend at the hips, reaching the hands forward and down towards the legs. Allow the hands to rest wherever they landed, keeping the spine lengthening. Release the thumbs and place the hands gently alongside the legs wherever they landed. From here, take the gaze gently up towards your own ankles or feet to lengthen through the spine and breathe three deep breaths. No bouncing and no forcing. Just relax the shoulders away from the ears and as you inhale, find length in the spine, and as you exhale, relax the face. On your next inhale, interlock the thumbs, reaching the hands again up to the ceiling, taking the gaze up towards the hands, and on your exhale, bring the hands to the middle of the chest, palms touching, relax the shoulders. Relax the hands back to the sides of the mat alongside the hips and set up for forward stretch of head to knee pose. For this pose, begin by bending the left leg and place the sole of the left foot against the inside of the right leg. The right leg is on the floor and the po toes pointing up and the knee relaxed. Lock the thumbs and stretch the arms out and raise them overhead as you inhale, look up and stretch. And as you exhale, bend forward at the hips keeping the back straight. Take hold of the foot, calf, knee, or wherever you can comfortably reach with both hands and look forward towards your own foot or ankle. Then inhale and exhale. Keeping both sits bones grounded, allow the head to relax and breathe normally. Hold the position for a few more seconds. Then when you're ready, lock the thumbs and inhale, stretch the hands over the leg and slowly come back up, reaching the hands to the ceiling. And as you exhale, bring the palms back to the middle of the chest and relax the shoulders. Good, and we will begin with the other side. So outstretch both legs and then place the right sole of the foot onto the inside of the left leg. The left leg is outstretched on the floor, the toes pointing up and the knees relaxed. Lock the thumbs and stretch the arms out and raise them overhead, look up and stretch. 
And as you exhale, bend from the hips, keeping the back straight, relaxing the hands down, taking hold of the foot, calf or knee, or wherever you can comfortably reach. Look forward towards your own foot or ankle, and then inhale, exhale, allow the head to relax, and breathe normally, stretching over your left leg, holding the position for a few seconds more. Then locking the thumbs on your inhale, stretch out over the legs and reach the arms up towards the ceiling, coming back up. And as you exhale, bring the hands to the middle of the chest and then relax the hands down. Now we will begin with shoulder stand. Shoulder stand in the modified version of one or two and for one, you will place the legs over a chair, and for two, you can place the legs up a wall. Either way, to set up for shoulder stand, please adjust your chair so the chair back is to the left. Place a pillow close to where your hips will be and one pillow under the head. From here, sit down on the pillow closest to the chair or wall and comfortably swing the left leg up the chair or up the wall and slowly lower your back body and head down to the pillow. If you're comfortable with that left leg up the wall or chair, swing the right leg up the chair or up the wall and make sure that the chair seat is not cutting into the calves and that your legs aren't overextended on the wall. If the legs feel overextended, you can move away from the wall and just place the soles of the feet on the wall, having the knees bent at a right angle. Otherwise, if you're on the chair, begin to relax the hips, the legs, the shoulders, and the head. The hands can face up or down or be placed on the body comfortably. Make sure that there is a pillow under the head at all times and one under the hips. Begin to breathe and notice the effects of shoulder stand on your body. Noticing the legs get a release and that the blood pools in the throat and the carotid artery sending the message to the brain that the heart doesn't have to work so hard. Therefore, the heart relaxes. Breathe here naturally. If at any time you feel dizzy or faint, come out of shoulder stand and lay on the side body, the back, or sit still. Taking a few more breaths here, begin to enliven the body and enjoy the benefits of shoulder stand. And to slowly transition, you can blink the eyes open if they were closed, finding the body visually in space. And then slowly begin by shifting the right leg off of the chair or down from the wall. And then following with the left leg coming off of the chair or off of the wall and rolling onto the right side body. Slowly curl up into a ball on the right side of the body. Bending the knees and rounding the spine using your upper arm or a pillow for under the head. Relax. Now slowly begin to come up to a seated position and take a breath as you sit and prepare for the next pose. The next pose is modified fish pose or regular fish pose. To set up, place one or two pillows for the length of the spine on the mat. Allow yourself to sit against the pillows with the hips towards the short end of the pillows. And for modified fish pose, you will lay the body down slowly over the pillows, the length of the spine supported from the tailbone all the way up to the middle of the head, 
right where the ears are, allowing the head to tip back slightly. If you're going for full fish pose, you can allow the pillow to reach only the tops of the shoulders, allowing the head to tip back even more. But just know your own body, and if there's undue pressure in the sinuses, the eyes, or the head in general, come back to the modified fish pose where the pillow supports the base of the skull and the head doesn't tip back too far. Otherwise, allow the legs to be straight and relaxed and allow the hands to also turn up or down or place them on the body comfortably and just relax. Breathe here in fish pose. A counter pose for the previous pose to open the throat center bringing health and well-being to the thyroid gland and all its functioning. Breathe freely, noticing the chest is expansive and open in this pose, sending the breath to the heart, relaxing the eyes and the face. Breathe. Now begin to transition out of fish pose by tucking the chin and placing the feet on the mat and rolling once again off to the right side using your upper arm or nearby pillow as a pillow under the head. Relax on the side body a few breaths. When you're ready, slowly transition back to a seated position. Coming up slowly, have a seat and prepare for the next pose. Half spinal twist. Half spinal twist pose can be done on the chair or the floor. Find a comfortable seat. If you're on the floor, make sure your hips are supported with a pillow, blanket, or a cushion, and stretch the legs straight. Likewise, on a chair, you can comfortably rest without the back of the chair supporting the spine. So sit upright. From here, cross the right leg over the left if you're in a chair and similarly place the right sole of the foot on the other side of the left leg and then slowly hug your right leg with your left arm and take your right hand back behind you or to the chair back. On an inhale, find length in the spine supporting the back with either the right fingertips or palm down behind you. And as you exhale, turn to the right and allow the gaze to go over the right shoulder gently without forcing or over twisting. Breathe here. As you inhale, notice that length and inner lift of the spine. And as you exhale, relax the shoulders and guide yourself into the twist by gazing gently over the right shoulder and breathe a few more breaths here. And then when you inhale next, take the gaze towards the front and allow the body to unwind from the top down, releasing the hugging of the leg and straightening both legs out and relax. Left side. Now either cross the left leg over the right if you're seated place the left sole of the foot on the outside of the right leg. Hug the left leg with the right arm and place the left fingertips or palm back behind you or to the chair back. On an inhale, find that inner length lifting through the spine and as you, as you exhale, take the gaze back behind you over the left shoulder. On the inhale, once again, reset a long spine and as you exhale, gently guide yourself into a twist gazing comfortably over the left shoulder. Relax the shoulders and breathe here naturally and comfortably. Without overdoing the twist, just notice the benefits of twisting on the spine and the internal organs. Breathing naturally. And then on your next inhale, take the gaze forward and unwind the body from the top all the way down and release the cross of the legs Allow the legs to come straight and take a deep breath with a tall spine. And exhale, relax. 
Now prepare for extended relaxation with imagery. You can do this laying down on the back or the side body, or if you prefer to sit in a chair, you can sit in a chair. If you're laying on the back, make sure that there's a pillow under the head, a pillow under the knees, and cover the body with a blanket wherever you're at to stay warm as the blood pressure lowers with extended relaxation and the body may become cold. Prepare yourself in the most comfortable position for you. As the body begins to settle in here, take several long, slow, deep breaths, letting go. Begin to notice how you feel. In preparation for relaxation, we'll practice squeeze and relax. So to practice, begin by inhaling, filling the lungs as you squeeze the hands, arms, feet, legs, buttocks, and facial muscles. And as you exhale, sigh and relax. Repeating this now, inhale as you squeeze arms, legs, buttocks, facial muscles, and then exhale, sigh and relax. Now allow the body to be still. During this practice, the body rests deeply and completely while the mind remains alert, awake, and fully relaxed. And gently begin by sending your awareness down the body to the soles of the feet, directing relaxation to the soles of the feet and the toes. Relax the tops of the feet and the ankles, drawing the awareness up the calves and shins, the knees, upper legs and hip joints. Relax. Enjoy taking several deep breaths as you relax the feet, the legs, and the hips, letting go. Now find your awareness in the fingertips. Relaxing the fingers, the palms, the hands, the wrists, and the lower arms. Relax through the elbows and upper arms and the shoulder joints. Relax. Take several deep breaths as you relax from the hands, arms, and shoulders, letting go. Now direct your awareness to the pelvic floor and buttocks. Relax. Relax the abdomen and the organs of the abdomen. Letting go of any gripping or tension in the abdominal organs. Find your awareness in the area of the stomach and navel. Relax the stomach and the organs of digestion and assimilation. Relax the chest and the ribs and the muscles between the ribs. Notice the ribs expand on the inhale. Notice the ribs contract on the exhale. Relax the diaphragm, the lungs, and even the bronchioles. Relax the chest.
Now relax the heart. Relax the heart muscle and the muscles that surround the artery walls. Knowing that these muscles are within your conscious control. And as they relax, the blood can flow freely to and from the heart. Relax the physical heart and relax the emotional heart as well. Softening, letting go. Soften the throat and the pit of the throat. Relax. Now returning your attention to the lower back, relax your lower back and the middle back. Relax the upper back and the shoulder blades and the space between the shoulder blades. Relax the entire spine and back. Relax the back of the neck and the base of the skull the hinges of the jaw, the chin and the lips. Relax. Relax the mouth and the corners of the mouth, the gums and the nerves of the teeth. Now soften the tongue and the root of the tongue, the nasal passages, sinuses and nostrils. Relax. Notice the breath as it passes through the nostrils. Relax the cheeks and the eyes, allowing the eyes to soften in the sockets. Relax the eyebrows and the space between the eyebrows the forehead, the temples, ears, and scalp. Relax. And now relax the mind and any thoughts that linger in the mind. Begin to gather up any remaining tension from the body, any remaining tension in the mind. Send them out through the top of the head, letting go of any cares or worries, any fears or concerns, relaxing completely from top to toe and toe to top. Noticing the breath and noticing how the body organizes around the natural rhythms of the breath. Noticing the mind and the thoughts that linger in the mind. Observe thoughts arising and dissipating. Looking on from a detached point of view, without labeling or judging, without analyzing or ruminating. Now begin to move deeper as you search for that place of peace and stillness within. Allow yourself to rest there in that center of stillness, resting in your own true nature, deeply letting go.
from that place of peace and stillness, begin to observe the mind. Begin to notice the breath. And as you deepen the in-breath and lengthen the out-breath, allow the breath to fill the spaces of the body. Now begin to imagine healing light or healing energy sitting just above the top of the head. Imagine that warm healing light or healing energy glowing. Now imagine drawing that healing into the body, sending it over the mind, healing the mind sending it down the spine and through to the vital organs. Allow that healing to fill the heart, healing the heart. Sending it through the abdomen and pelvis, down the arms to the fingers, and down the legs to the toes. Allow it to touch every fiber of your being healing at the deepest level. And now ask yourself where your body needs the most attention or extra care and allow yourself to imagine that healing light, healing energy, travel to that area, glowing, warm, healing, that area. Let that light now expand from the inside out, wrapping the body in a healing light and healing energy, letting your own experience of healing be deep and profound for you. And when you feel ready, return your attention to the breath. Deep in the in-breath, lengthen the out-breath. Beginning to make a transition. Allow the breath to inspire some movement in the fingers and toes. Wiggling the fingers and toes. And the ankles and the wrists circling ankles and wrists, maybe turning the head gently side to side to stretch the neck. And now place the palms to touch and gently rub the palms to create warmth and energy and place the palms over the eyes, cupping the eyes, allowing the warmth and darkness to penetrate into the eyes relaxing and rejuvenating the eyes. Slowly begin to open the eyes, blinking into the darkness of the palms. And then use the finger pads to massage the scalp, the forehead, the eyelids from the inner to outer eyes, the temples, the jaw, down the sides of the neck, the tops of the shoulders. When you're ready, stretch the body, arms reaching up, legs reaching down. 
and relax once again here to transition. Place the feet on the mat, bending the knees. Roll off to the right side and use the upper arm or a pillow to support the head. Curl up into a little ball and allow yourself to transition slowly, resting on the side body for a few breaths. And when you're ready, you can stretch the left leg, press the left palm, and come back up to a seated position, taking your time and preparing for the practice of breathing and meditation. Finding your comfortable meditation seat, either on the floor or in a seat. Make sure that the seat is supported if you're on the floor with a blanket, cushion, or pillows under the seat. Once you're in the meditation seat, find your inner lift by taking a slow inhalation through the nostrils, sending it down the spine to the sits bones, exhaling up the spine out of the top of the head. Allow the shoulders, the jaw, and the face to relax. Allow the hands to rest comfortably in the lap any way that feels good for you, tucking the chin slightly to lengthen the back of the neck. And here, practice three-part breath by placing the right palm at the lower abdomen. Exhale completely, contracting the lower belly. And as you inhale, inflate the lower belly, the lower ribs, drawing the air all the way up to the collarbones, finding a natural pause. On the exhale, deflate from the top down, top of the chest, lower ribs, and then gently contracting the lower abdomen. Continue with three-part breath for a few rounds. If you get dizzy or lightheaded, you can stop at any time and return to a natural breath. After your next exhale, relax the hand back to the lap and breathe naturally, just observing the breath. Now begin the practice of alternate nostril breathing. Bring the right hand in front of the face and use the pinky finger and the ring finger to rest on the left nostril. Use the thumb to rest on the right nostril. To begin, close off the left nostril and inhale through the right nostril. At the top of the inhale, close the right nostril, open the left and exhale through the left nostril. Inhale through the left. Closing off the left, open the right nostril and exhale through the right nostril fully and slowly. Inhale through the right, keeping the left closed. And then at the top of the inhale, close the right, open the left and exhale through the left. Continue this pattern, switching always at the top of the inhale. Breathing slowly fully. If you get dizzy or lightheaded, stop at any time and return to a natural breath. Otherwise, complete a few more rotations. After you exhale through the right nostril, You'll have finished and release the hand back to the lap and take a full inhalation through both nostrils and a slow, complete exhalation. Notice any difference in the body, the mind, and the breath. And breathe naturally, observing the breath. Now reset your seat for silent meditation, making sure that the seat is lifted if you're on the floor by sitting on a cushion, blanket, or pillows, making sure that the hips are comfortable, the knees have no pain, and the spine is lifted, the shoulders back and down, relaxing. Tuck the chin slightly, 
and take a deep breath into the spine, down to the seat. And a full exhale up the spine, out of the top of the head. Establishing integrity with an upright spine. Preparing for your silent meditation. Use either the breath meditation, the gazing meditation, or the sound tone or mantra meditation. You can begin by focusing on the breath at any point that feels the most comfortable and uplifting for you, either at the point of entry, noticing the inhales through the nostrils, as well as the exhales through the nostrils, or noticing the chest rise and fall with each in-breath and out-breath, or the belly expanding and deflating with each in-breath and out-breath. Choose one spot to just observe the breath as it passes in and out. When the mind wanders, as it naturally does, simply and gently bring the attention back to the breath without any judgment without getting caught up in any stories. Simply observe the thoughts, letting go and returning back to the attention on the breath. Now, if you would like to choose to continue with breath meditation, just continue to return to the sensation of breathing time and time again. Or if you choose to do gazing meditation, gazing at an object of your choice, you can begin that now. And if you choose to do a tone, sound, or mantra meditation, you can choose that tone, word, or sound and begin that now. Remember to choose the most uplifting and pleasant form of meditation for you. And remain there for just a few more minutes. And now release any techniques of meditation, letting go of all effort, and just come back to the sensations of the body and breath. Taking a nice deep inhale through the nostrils, sending it once again down the spine to the seat, and exhaling slowly, allowing the breath to travel up the spine out of the top of the head. Returning with a deep breath, to any sensations in the body and mind, exhaling, retaining that sense of comfort and ease. You can gently begin to blink the eyes open to a 50-50 gaze, looking 45 degrees down towards the floor or mat in front of you. And when you're ready, you can blink the eyes fully open, coming out of your meditation. And now, 
begin your forward stretch three from your meditation seat. To begin, reach back behind you with the hands grabbing for the opposite wrist with one hand. Gently clasp one wrist with the opposite hand and take an inhale to reestablish the long spine and as you exhale, hinge forward at the hips, leaning forward any amount, maybe just an inch or so for your forward stretch. Take a couple deep breaths here, relaxing the head and shoulders, keeping the spine long. And then on your next inhale, slowly come up to the middle and release the wrist and place the hands on top of the heart center, the palms facing in towards you. Breathing into the heart, feeling the warmth of your own hands on top of the chest. Just bring to mind anything you are grateful for. Ending the practice with one more deep inhale. And complete exhale, releasing the hands and blinking the eyes open if they were closed. Completing your stress management practice.